Just be out with us to Turks and Caicos on Carnival Freedom. We are on a smaller island of Turks and Caicos and the main town is Cogsburg. Yes, we're on the southern tip and the cruise just docked and we're able to walk right onto the beach and it's kind of a cloudy day today. This morning when we docked, it was a little windy. I hope you guys can hear it's us. It's still well, really it's still windy, windy. It's supposed but to be that way all day. It was raining and we saw a beautiful rainbow today right out in the sea. And it's still overcast, but we're going to the beach anyway. And of course, if you guys want to see the full walking tour of this beach end to end, you can head over to our other YouTube channel where we're going to leave the link in the description and you can see exactly what this beach looks like. That way, when you come on your cruise here, you'll know what to expect. Just, Just be, be out, out with us. Morning, morning. So as usual with most, most uh, ports of call, you do have shops that you have to walk through and it all has duty free liquor, jewelry, um, accessories and, and clothing. And now we're in the, um, out of the uh, shops and now we're in the courtyard area and we can go either left or right to the beaches. There's some entertainment going around. So let me turn the camera around. There's some excursions, people are lined up to do things. So. Uh, let's see what this place has to offer. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, different stores here that sells different things. Um, there's bars, but there's also the excursions. And one thing we noticed, we did a little bit of research before coming here and trying to figure out what is there to do. So we did see a few excursions of things to do, but they weren't rated very well. So we think we waited to get here to then make a decision. Um, as you can see, there are um, Hummer rides. There's also buses that take you around town and through town, but nothing really crazy here. This this island is basically just for beaches. Right, the thing is, uh, this is a really small island of uh, Turks and Caicos. The main island that if you decide to fly into Turkey and Caicos and uh, spend your vacation, you'll fly into the main island where they have their international airport. And that island is much bigger. This is just a really small island. Um, Primarily for the cruise ship. Yeah, the ship docks. So let's continue showing you guys around and see what's there to do. When you disembark off the ship pier at Grand Turks, disembarking starts at 7 a.m., which is really early. But the kicker is that you need to be back on the boat by 1 p.m. So it's really a half a day of uh, activities and shopping and drinking, of course. And here in Grand Turks, where the cruise is docked, it's a it's really a big area for shopping there are a lot of shops um, from jewelry to clothing to duty-free alcohol and everything else in between um, the stretch of beaches is pretty decent it's not that long compared to most beaches but it's long enough so a really quick funny story you guys know yesterday uh, our first place where we stopped was in DR Dominican Republic and I forgot to pack my sandals so we went to Dominican Republic and our cab driver took us to this place where I bought some, I finally found some sandals in my size. So once I tried them on, when I got on the cruise ship, because I didn't try them on when I bought them, you know, the, the sandals with the thing that goes between the toes, well, that was really pointy and it was digging into my toe area and it was, it was actually really uncomfortable to, uh, to use. So I was like, okay, you know what? When I come to Turks, I'm actually gonna buy sandals. Well. There are over, I would say at least 30 to 40 stores here. And I went into every single one of them and none of them had sandals. You know what they did have? They had uh, water shoes, right? Obviously, because there's a beach here and there's a pool. So people kind of use water shoes, but no sandals, which I find kind of odd because it is still a tropical place. There's beaches and sand and stuff like that. You would think they would have sandals, but they don't. So make sure you have your sandals. Don't do what I did and don't expect to come here and buy sandals unless it's water shoes, then you're good to go. But we'll get into the beach a little bit because I'm going to meet up with Irina and we're going to hit the beach and we're going to tell you a little bit more of like what you can expect when coming to the beach. For now, let's just go and check out all the different stores and stuff that they do have.
So, a JBO tip. If you are coming here to Grand Turks, one thing you must know, some people just don't like the beach, of course. You guys are pool people, right? I'm talking to you specifically, the pool people. Well, here, there is a massive pool area and it's so cool, so refreshing. Everyone's just kind of laying out. But the best part about it is that it is located right behind Margaritaville. That's right, so here, Margaritaville is prime. There's music playing, there's a DJ, super interactive DJ, really cool, everyone gets up and dance. It's one big party here and it's absolutely amazing. So. Just know that there is a massive pool here, but it's towards the back and you have to kind of search for it, but it's easy to find. We spoke to a few people while we were on the cruise and they did mention Margaritaville, but I thought, all right, it's just a spot with a bar where you can, you know, have some good eats and, and drinks, but I didn't know it was like that. It was a part of the pool area, so that makes it even more fun. So yeah, for sure. Next thing we're gonna hit up is the beach. I'm gonna go get Irina. I'm gonna show you what the beach looks like. So now I found Irina. We're heading into the beach. And let's tell them a little bit about the beach and what they can expect. Well, the sand is really fine. It's very, um, it's not, it's kind of compact, but it's, it's still kind of soft. It's not like gritty. And there are so many mountain chairs all around. And they're the all free. Except if you want to get the cabana, then you have to pay for it. And there is so much food and drinks all around everywhere. Music. Margaritaville. So much fun. Yeah. The watercolors look incredible. The water right now is a little refreshing. I would say it's, it's not cold, but refreshing. And there is still a lot of people in the water. Uh, there are buoys, so you cannot go too deep. And there's also lots of water activities. Uh, there are banana boats, catamaran rides, snorkeling. Um, Probably some jet skis somewhere. Yes, there are some jet skis further down. So I asked Irina, I said, well, do you want to go towards Margaritaville to the pool that I showed you guys? Or do you want to just take a dip here? And she was like, of course, take a dip here. So we're going to go here and hopefully I can convince her when we come out of here to go over there because that's where it's live. That's where the music is. That's where all the action is happening. Let's go. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. to get in is just this. Ready? One, two, three. I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, I'm not cold anymore. See? Done. Over with. The water is absolutely beautiful here and it's clear too that's the best part about it i love clear water i don't like getting into water that i can't see the bottom let me know in the comments how many of you are the same way like would you get in any type of ocean river stream anything that is not clear that you can't see the bottom that would be me what's really cool about this also is that the backdrop is the ship which is really cool so while you're swimming the ship is always in view because it's just docked right there there are also a lot of really um photogenic places that you can uh stop here and take photos with the uh, ship in the background of course so um a little tip you know when you come off the boat they try to sell you photos and they're like oh the ship is right behind let me take a nice photo you can do it yourself because there is the access here to, to get photos with the ship behind you is everywhere on this island how was it wow the water is incredible it is super clear there are no fishes whatsoever next to the shore but i saw there are plenty of snorkeling excursions that they will take you out on the boat just a little bit offshore so if you have an opportunity to do snorkeling here the water visibility should be really incredible so i actually convinced Irina that we should go into the pool and that's where we're headed um, as you can see, I'm really wet. I had a really good swim out oh, here. Yeah. The water's nice. All right. And that's... the pool has a swim up bar. Are you up for drinks? Who's not up for drinks? Let's get it! And we are here. We're now in the pool. We won't talk too much because there's music playing in the background. We don't want to get striped. So let's see what the pool is all about. I've been sitting wondering in my bedroom How to move along and brought my day for a while from over emotions Gotta go, I smell the air and find a way Can we just dance? Can we just dance and forget about it? I'm tired of the race Can we just dance and forget about it? And it's 
the finale. The only, <laughs> actually, two regrets uh -oh. for Grand Turk. There is never regrets. Two. You don't live life two. with regrets. You just live life. Number you never one. regret. We arrived way too early, 7 a.m. This embarking day, who drinks at 7 a.m.? And it is so much fun here, but I cannot drink this early. Regret number two, we have to leave, we have to be on board at 1.30 p.m. And it's what time? About 1.15 right it's, now? It is one o'clock right now. One o'clock though. But you know what? It's not one o'clock, it's... Five o'clock somewhere. somewhere. Anyway, Grand Turks was a lot of fun. And as I mentioned before earlier, I told you guys that Margaritaville is where you need to be. That's where all the action happens. That's where everyone comes together and have a blast. They have a drinking game. They have swim a bar, a music, live DJ, lots of fun. They have fun, 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 but you do have to reserve that in advance. Mm -hmm. And it's just a lot of fun hanging out there. I've been sitting wondering in my bedroom How to move along and buy my day I've been low-key for a while from over emotions Gotta go, I smell the air and find a way Can we just stay? 